channel. Today's video is going to be an exciting video because I'm participating in that YouTube tag going around a few months ago where you recreate another YouTuber's look and follow along to their video. So I decided that I would choose something that was really out of my comfort zone. So this will be fun and interesting, learning new techniques, trying someone else's technique and seeing how that turns out. So the video I chose today was, of course, a Kathleen Lights video. When I looked through a bunch of videos, I did see um, a video she had done. So figured I would challenge myself and give it a shot. Once I watched the entire video, I discovered that I don't have a single, not a single one of the products she used on her face. I have the eyeshadow palette, <laughs> and that is it. I just, in general, really loved this eyeshadow look, so that's kind of what I really want to mainly focus on today in this recreation tutorial, follow along video, whatever they're called. I don't know. Um, I guess we will jump right on into the video. I have it here on my laptops. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this bold fall makeup look, and if you want to see how to get this makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes and now I'm so going I? into the Morphe 3502 palette. Okay. I'm going to take this. So here is the palette. Such a beautiful palette. It's really fall like, but whatever. I feel like this look is super fiery and fun. I don't care. And I'm going to use this as my crease color. This is pretty much going to be my transition shade to where all of the other eyeshadows I put on top will just blend better because we have this initial color down. Okay. So I'm just buffing this into my crease and just um, gradually building up the color. Okay, so I'm going to take that shade that she used. She does this quite like dispersed throughout the eye. One thing I do notice a lot um, about Kathleen and her eye shape is that it's a lot different than mine. <laughs> she has a big area between her lash line and her brow bone. So she has a lot of space to play with when she's doing her makeup, which I feel like my eyes are quite small, so I don't have as much room to do kind of what she's doing. Okay, so now that I've blended out that crease shade, I'm just going to continue with the video. I'm gonna go back into Took my, my time. Hand. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a really like vibrant okay. terracotta right color. Here. And I'm gonna start doing kind of like a halo eye. You can see on my other eye, I have that bright orange in the middle. So I'm just building up colors around it. I mean, you can put it on your entire eye. You don't have to leave the center blank. Okay. But you know, that's, that's just what I'm doing. So she took that terracotta shade and started blending it all over her lips, kind of starting a halo eye look. Looked like she started in the other corner and kind of dragged it in to create that halo eye. Again, my eyelid is a lot smaller than hers. So once I blended out that terracotta shade, I'm just going to move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm taking this shade. This shade is completely right pointless in this step. It's okay. just that I did it on the other eye when I was playing around with this palette and I thought I have to do it again because, you know, I want to make, I want to do the exact same steps, but this, that. So even though she, whoa, I just started the video over again. Hey guys, Yay! So, like, anyway. so she did say this next step is pointless. I am going to do it anyway just because she did it and I want this look to look as close to hers as possible. totally pointless. Okay, so then next like she that. takes this shade okay, again. I'm going to go back into that terracotta shade and I'm just going to uh, blend the edges of this pink color so that everything looks nice and blended. This look takes a lot and lot and lot of blend. Yay, okay. I'm going back into that first crease shade we used. So then, then she goes back to the terracotta shade and just blends the edges. Easy enough. I'm going back into that first crease shade we used and just blending some more. Yeah, you know how these looks are. Blending, blending, blending. So she went back to that first shade she used and just um, blended out the edges. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this deep color. I love it because it kind of has like a purple right undertone. Um, and I'm going to start focusing this color on the outer corners and on the inner corners of my eye as well. And then I'm going to connect that in the crease. I'm leaving the center of my eye bare. Like I'm not adding any of this eyeshadow on it because like I said, I will go over it with the orange eyeshadow. But I'm just slowly building this color up. It's better to start off slow because this color is pretty dark. So I'm slowly building that color up until it's as deep as I want it. And Okay, so taking this dark shade right here, she's going to blend that in the crease area. going back into that crease shade, blending, blending some more. So she went back to that very first crease shade and just did more, some, some more blending. So much blending. Always go back and just make sure that everything is nice and blended. Okay, so since there's no highlight shade, in the palette, I'm gonna take my Catrice Prime and Fine Contour little kit here, and I'm gonna use the highlight shade to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so I do not have that Catrice highlight shade that she just spoke about and that she used to highlight her brow bone. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this Kevin Aquan Sculpt and Highlight Duo. It's highlight shade right here to um, highlight my brow bone instead. Continue on. The orange shade in this palette is so went into this guy. Beautiful fiery orange. And I'm just gonna place this directly in the center of the lid where we didn't apply any of the dark eyeshadow. And I'm just applying this with my finger. It's just so much easier to apply shadow with your finger. You get the best color payout that way. And now I'm just taking a brush and just blending out the edges, making sure they're blue. Okay, so she did go ahead and apply this beautiful orange shade on her eyelid just with her fingers. I agree, applying this with your fingers seriously is amazing. So much pigmentation. Wow, that is so pretty. All right, now what is next? Into one another, and now I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so she did go back again to this dark shade here and just blended um, around where she just applied that bright orange shadow. So I'm just gonna make sure it is all like blended. I so moving on, it looks like she starts with her I face. My eyes. I'm gonna take my Smashbox primerizer, moisturizer, and primer. Don't have it, like I said. It's so hydrating. Instead of using that um, Smashbox primer that she just used, I'm gonna use this Becca First Light Priming Filter. Use what I have that's similar. And now on to foundation. My number seven Stay Perfect Foundation <laughs> in the shade Warm Ivory. Don't have that either. I'm this with my LA Girl sponge. I really. I don't have the LA Girl sponge, sponge but I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender for like this it one. It doesn't soak up any of my foundation. Like it gives me. So I'm actually just going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear because this is just a tried and true foundation. I know I like it. And for concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light. Don't have I'm that. I'm just applying that underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to use this. I don't have that concealer, however, I really want to order it and try it out. But for now, I'm just going to use my Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Fair because I do want to highlight under my eyes just like she did. So I'm just going to use this instead. I'm going to blend it out. My concealer is all blended out, so we will just move on from there. To set my concealer, I'm going to take my NYX HD powder. I think this is called Banana. I'm so she uses the NYX HD Banana Powder, which I don't have, so I'm actually going to take this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It has more of like a banana um, setting shade in the center here. So I'm going to use that one as I wanted something more banana-y. So I'm just going to set my concealer with this. Add it in. Okay, 
Okay, so moving back onto the eyes, Still I didn't realize line. I wasn't recording in this part, but basically I just used the first crease color we used on the eyes, and I'm just using this to smoke out my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back into this okay, little okay, reddish stop, stop, stop. Stop. Okay, so <laughs> she just went ahead and used this shade here and smoked it out on the lower lash line, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Shade. And she and went back to this terracotta brush, shade. I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to focus this color a little bit closer to my waterline than the other color. Like the okay, other so one. I'm getting ahead of myself here, which is okay. So she did go ahead and take this one and just smoke it along the bottom lash line as well, just like she did the last shade. So, like I said, I'm just going to mimic that. Ah, put myself in the eye. Then she went ahead and took that dark ter terracotta shade or dark shade. And she just mimicked what she did on the top half of the eye. So she just applied some to the outer corner of the eye and inner corner of the eye. So easy as pie. Does anyone else get so much shadow in their eyes when they're doing lower lash lines? I'm the absolute worst at it. Because I'm going to apply this beautiful orange shade to it right now. Leave my pinky. So she went back to that really fun orange shade and applied that to the center of her bottom lash line with her finger. So I'm going to do that. This is probably my new favorite shade in this palette. It's so pretty. I used this shade to highlight my inner corners. And she took that shade here and highlighted her inner corners. And then I went with my um, Anastasia Dark Side Eyeliner and I used this to tight line and I applied this to my waterline as well. I don't have the liner she used in her waterline or tight line, so I'm just going to use my Rimmel Scandalize in Black Waterproof Liner. Really intense black waterline and then I went in with my Inglot gel liner in number 77. Okay, I'm just gonna add so, a little wing. Um, I totally screwed up. I don't have the Inglot gel liner but I do have the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in blackest black so I'm gonna use this instead. with some falsies and then I applied my Koki volume and length mascara and then boom the eyes are done. Alright well um, I am not going to be applying false lashes today as I already have lash extensions so I essentially already have false lashes on my eyes so um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. And boom the eyes are done. Super super fally very dramatic. To contour my face, I'm going to use my Cover FX Suntan Bronzer. I love this to contour. Like I said, I don't have any of the base products. So I she just goes ahead and contours first. So I'm just going to take my Kevna Kwan Bronzer as I love this bronzer to contour with. I find that the the one the Cover FX one she used is quite similar to this one. So I decided I will just contour with this. I love using it to contour. By the way, I love this Glossier brush. It came with the Wowder. And I like it to contour. It's very fluffy, but like very thin. I like it. Not thin. I don't know. I just like it. So once I finish contouring, it looks like she goes ahead and uses and another bronzer. To warm up my skin a little bit more, I went in with the LC bronzer in the shade Light. I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth to the face. Okay, so to add more warmth to the face, I'm going to use my Milani Soleil the blush, I wanted to fake the bronzer. bronzer. And next she moves on to blush. And I used one of my favorite blushes in the entire world. This is the Milani Warm Petals Blush. It just goes with so many looks. I love this blush. So I don't have the Warm Petal just Blush, but I have my Tarte. Oh, but I do have this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Seduce. It looks very similar in color, at least off by the video. So I'm just going to add some of that on my cheeks. For highlight, this is the Nikki Tutorials highlight in Glow Goals. I applied that to the tops of my cheekbones and onto my nose as well. 
Okay, so I don't have the Glow Goals Highlighter by Nikki Tutorials, but I have this Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. Might as well use a highlighter that is in collaboration to a YouTuber. And this one looks very kind of glamorous like the one she used in the video. So that's why I chose this one. And then she applies lots to her nose. She has an amazing highlight going on, so I really want to try and get that. And then to finish off the look I'm going in with my lip color, I'm going to take this MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in etc. And I'm just using this to line the um, outer rim, outer rim? The, uh, just to line my lips, like to actually line my lips, not really fill them in. And then I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Liquid Lipstick. I love this liquid lipstick. It's a really it's pretty, pretty, but of course I don't have it. Okay, so I thought I had a MAC Pro Longwear Liner that was similar, but I don't. I actually have this unique Moonstruck Precision Pencil in Prudent. And then I don't have Exposed by Kylie Jenner. So I'm going to substitute that with with this NYX Lip Lingerie in Push Up. That concludes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So this is the final look when creating this 3502 look by Kathleen Lights. I am really excited on how this look came out. I think it's super fun and bold and again something that I would never create on my own if I was just sitting in my makeup room playing with my makeup. So I am really excited that I was able to pull something like this off and make it look pretty similar to what she had going on. I mean I don't know if it's just me but I feel like it uh, turned out pretty good but anyways you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and had a lot of fun watching it as I did filming it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos we will see you in my next video bye guys